Happy Easter. There's something about Easter that feels like a graduation ceremony. You flip the tassel in your cap, certifying that you are now an official graduate Christian. Well, as the character Sport in Life says in Gershwin's Porgy and Bess, it ain't necessarily so. A number of characters in the gospel resurrection stories react in the same way as Sport in Life. Thomas hears of an appearance by the risen Jesus and says, I'll believe it when I see it. Despondent travelers do not recognize that the stranger who has joined them on the Emmaus Road is the risen Jesus. Peter hears all the resurrection stories, but after a while he grows weary of sheltering in place and heads back to sea, not out to begin a new church. Like a celebratory graduation, Easter has so much fanfare to it that it's, it's easy to miss the minor chords of doubt, indecision, puzzlement in each resurrection story. Beginning a week from tonight, for four consecutive Wednesdays, 6 to 7 p.m., please join me via Zoom in a study of the resurrection stories in the Gospels. I welcome participants not only from Cove, but other friends who are interested in joining this exploration of our Easter faith. I'll send out the Zoom link the Tuesday before each Wednesday class. Before I close in prayer, let me pause to thank all of the frontline workers at Cove and beyond amid this corona crisis for your courageous and healing work. May God watch after you and give you joy in caring for those in great need. Please feel free to call me with any pastoral concerns. And now let us pray. Easter God, the tomb is empty but we still dwell in a time of deep darkness. Shine your resurrection hope as a light to guide us through the darkness. Bring healing to those who are sick, hope to those who despair, jobs to those who are unemployed, faith to those whose faith is out of stock. Easter God, give us the courage and tenacity to follow the risen Jesus into life. Amen. God bless you all.